a city owned work truck with a nasty political bumper sticker on it. That's definitely against city policy. News 13 So Young Kim tracked down the truck and got the city's explanation for it. Jessica, the woman who sent us a picture of the truck says she was shocked when she came across the truck while driving downtown. Tama Williams was driving down Martin Luther King Boulevard yesterday afternoon. And I just was so offended by it that I couldn't believe it. When she happened to stop at a red light on Broadway behind a city truck with a message. So she snapped a picture of it. It says Hillary for prison 2016. We spoke with the city. It did confirm one of its municipal development department trucks had a sticker with that political message. It is something that um, shouldn't have been there. So what is the city's policy on stickers or messages on city vehicles? Indicate city logo and perhaps the department name or division name. Anything outside of our approved logos and such should not be on a vehicle. After making calls this morning, we tracked down that same truck today parked downtown. The sticker on the left bumper had been freshly removed. As you can see, the residue still shows the outline of where the sticker used to be. It was actually an employee within our construction services division. The city knows who the truck belongs to, but is still investigating and won't say much else. But we're not really sure at this point how the sticker got there. People we spoke with say regardless of who put the sticker on the city truck. They should inspect their vehicles. They should have saw it and taken it off. It is freedom of speech, but you, you need to be accountable for what you have and the city needs to be accountable for their employees. The city says any sticker, even one as simple as a happy face, if not approved, goes against policy. Back to you. All right, thank you, So Young. The city says if the driver of that truck did in fact put that bumper sticker there, they could face disciplinary action.